Sage CRM provides a formalized case management system for resolving customer support issues. In this tutorial, we'll show how you can use case management to keep your customers happy and loyal. So let's jump right in and take a look. In Sage CRM, customer service issues are called cases. Let's walk through a scenario to see how cases are used. For this example, we'll be using the standard Sage CRM sample company, Panoply Corporation, a company that sells time and billing software. We're currently logged in as Panoply's customer support operator, Robert Sims. Robert is the initial point of contact for all support calls. So we'll now play the role of Robert, and let's suppose that we just got off the phone with Simon Yeltoy at Gatecom regarding a problem with his time and billing software. We'll log this issue by right-clicking New and selecting New Case from the flyout menu. We'll type in just the first few letters of Gatecom and hit the Finder, and we'll select Gatecom from the list. The system automatically pops up a list of Gatecom employees, and we'll select Simon. Now let's enter the relevant information. Recall that our sample data here is for a software company that sells time and billing software, and the fields on this screen reflect this. Importantly, you can easily configure these fields to reflect the needs of your business. So starting with the description, we'll enter error message when saving time entries, and fix in, we'll select none, and found in version 4.0, and the area is software, and source is phone. We'll leave the SLA or service level agreement fields as none since service level agreements will be the subject of a future tutorial. Moving to the status panel, we'll enter the problem details receives error message when saving time entry. Problem began after upgrade to version 4.0. And for problem type, we'll select software bug, and for the team, we'll choose customer service, and let's set this case to normal priority, and finally, our customer service operator, Robert Sims, will initially assign this to himself until he determines which rep is best suited to work on this case, and now we'll save the case. Notice that after saving the case, a new panel appears in the lower right corner. This panel appears when case workflow is enabled. Workflow is a customizable feature that allows you to standardize the steps your reps take when investigating and solving customer service issues. Alternatively, you can disable workflow and manually progress the status of cases. The workflow shows that the case is currently logged. Let's assume that we're ready to assign the case to an appropriate rep, which we'll do by progressing the case to the status of queued using the Workflow Action button. Let's assign this case to Kylie Ward and enter a tracking note that documents the change in status. In this case, we'll enter Assign to Rep Familiar with Version 4.0 and we'll click Save. Now let's put a phone call on Kylie's calendar to initiate contact with the customer. To do this, we'll right-click on New and select Task, and notice that since we're scheduling the call from within the context of the case, the system pre-fills the company, person, and regarding fields. And we'll enter the call details, provide status update, and gather additional information. And we'll assign the task to Kylie Ward. Now, when we save this task, it will appear on Kylie's calendar, but let's also make sure that she's aware of this scheduled call by checking the on-screen reminder box. This will place a reminder banner across the top of her screen, and finally, we'll save the task. Let's now change roles by logging out and logging back in as Kylie Ward, who is now assigned to this case. In Kylie's role, Let's see how she picks up the newly assigned case. Kylie's preferences are set so that we see her list of assigned cases in My CRM as soon as we log in. We can filter the list by status by clicking on the cases pipeline. We're most interested in the queued stage since these are the cases that have recently been assigned to us, and at the bottom of the list is the case that we just created and assigned to Kylie. 
Also, notice the notification banner at the top of the screen. This is a result of the on-screen reminder option that we checked earlier to alert Kylie of the scheduled status update phone call to the customer. Let's jump over to Kylie's dashboard and here you can see that the case also appears under the heading My Newly Created Cases. Importantly, your customer service reps have several places in Sage CRM where they can readily see new case assignments. Let's view the case by clicking the link and let's assume that we'll do some initial investigation into the issue before calling the customer. So we'll need to progress the case to the status of investigating. On the case progress screen, let's enter checking knowledge base and with other reps on this issue and click save. Again, notice that the current state is now investigating and the available workflow actions have changed. Each time we update the case status, our actions are documented under the tracking tab. Here you can see that the stage, duration at each stage, tracking notes, and other information are recorded here and are available for reporting and analysis. Now let's assume that we've solved the customer's issue, so we'll select Solved from the workflow actions, and for solution type, we'll select Service Pack, and let's enter the solution details, Installed SP1, and a tracking note, Tested and Confirmed, and then click Save. And to wrap up this tutorial, let's jump over to the Reports area and open up the customer service list of reports. As you can see, there are many that come standard with Sage CRM, and importantly, you can easily create your own reports. So to recap, by using Sage CRM case management, you'll have a formalized system for resolving customer support issues, and the result will be happy and loyal customers. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in Sage CRM. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.